Well, hello, gang, and welcome back to Kinshi. When we last left off... I was gonna say, when we last left off, Soul was supposed to be running... ...all the way to the way station here. Charlos... Good, you're still just standing around doing nothing. Until he gets- until Soul gets there to sell the rum. Not a whole lot I can do. As far as, uh... Dealing with Charlos. You're pretty much just our... Our librarian right now. Got fabric being delivered by people who aren't- who aren't doing anything. My question is, if you guys can deliver the fabric, why don't you just put it in the boxes here? Got high grade, high grade, high grade. All of that can go up for sale. Uh, my big concern is I'm not entirely sure that the AI can actually afford this armor. Which kind of sucks. Revy. What? Oh, oh yeah. Um, actually, I forgot about this. No more making fabric for you. Huh. Let's say we've got 10 cotton in there. Revy. I'm going to take this out. And I don't think I've got, yeah, I got enough room for that. So I guess that's not too bad. It shows that at least I've been able to grow cotton. I've been wondering where it went if I was, if I was actually harvesting any. I think I brought that up a couple videos ago. Like, why isn't there any in the output here? So what I want to do is just build some more farms. Uh, get... I guess I'll build the cotton ones over here. Keep wanting to expand my farms out, which maybe I should do. Then I can have fields of cotton, fields of hemp. I mean, that's pretty appealing. So, and I do like expanding my base, even if it's not needed. Even if this base is large enough already um go ahead and just set it up like that for now I guess and once we get some more of these walls some of these walls built in I'll dismantle I can probably bring this entire wall right here down at that point Oh, I could probably bring that wall down now. Not gonna make too much of a difference, most likely. Of course, as soon as I say that, that's when the grieve rates are gonna show up. Uh, get rid of you. Oh yeah, what do I have mounted to this stuff? Okay, lights. I was like, I know I put lights somewhere. The lights that I tried to install outside uh, didn't actually get installed, so. I can only guess that's another instance where I instinctively just like with muscle reflex clicked or hit escape. Which I love to do for some reason. Like, oh, you've gone through all the trouble of placing and planning this out. Don't mind if I do, just delete all your work. So, that'll open that up a little bit. I like it. Looks a little bit better. It almost looks like a cow, actually, or a dog. Arf, arf, arf. Got its legs here. For Right then, we did have another leg with a tail. Okay. <laughs> uh, 
eventually expand this side out. Oh, hey. Are you the one that was inside my building by chance? I don't think you are, but if somehow you got teleported out... Do you know in Denver, can you stop? Hey, surely you didn't get ported out, did you? Nope, you're still in here. And... Uh, I kind of just want to attack it. Oh, the menders are here. Um, Mew Pew, attack it. I'm not entirely sure if it can attack. Okay, it, do, it did attack back. It'd be nice if you could follow me out here. Got a small stomach wound. Mew Pew fighting a tyrant inside. All by themselves. I guess let's just beat this thing up and hope for the best. I can't, I can't just wait. Until it grows up into a teen or an adult and becomes even stronger. Chop it down. And I may not be able to recruit them when they're this big either. Once they become pups. Got merchants, or not merchants, but tech hunters showing up. Mew Pew, you are backed into a corner. You pissed it off. They're like, I just, I just wanted to check on you. Digs its foot in and spins around to snap at Diabetic. Who bashes it in the face with a fan. The edge of the fan there is razor sharp. It can't do very well against armor, obviously, but against flesh. Like a razor blade. Mind's eye, go ahead and rescue Mew Pew. Slaxer takes over. It's backed into a corner. And snaps its neck. Okay. I'm down with that. Go ahead and pick this damn thing up, too. We'll take it out here for our tyrants to eat. When they're done dancing and prancing on top of each other. Good lord. That's why I built two gates, you assheads. Are you down on the ground? Eh, could be worse. Yeah, it could be. Cat dog, I didn't even know you could come inside. Okay, cyber zombie, you're not really beat up. Let's go ahead and carry Mew Pew to bed. Hey Menders, thanks for uh, all the help. Hope at the very least you bought some rum. Okay, and... Soul, you should be arrived, right? Oh wow, bam. Right inside. Beautiful, huh? Yeah, I'm looking for fabrics, for cotton. Looking to sell some of this delicious handcrafted rum. Guess that's all I can get rid of, huh? Three more cotton. Half tempted to buy the steel bars. Waste a bit of money. Let's go see if there's any legs that have been delivered. We ordered a right leg, okay? It's a right leg. I mean, I've got a skeleton leg, right leg, an economy and left leg, a stealth right leg. It's slim pickings this time, Pekunk. Where are you at? Yeah, you're missing your right leg, so... I think I'm just gonna buy you a basic skeleton right leg here. I can't afford to wait. I need you back in action. Sell all of that. Makes up a little bit of money, and I guess let's just get you back. Go, Soul will run back. It's good for his athletics, up to 54. He's got a long ways to go to catch up with some people, but he'll get there. Uh, Charlos, I don't think I'm gonna buy any any engineering blueprints for the time being. You got two of those. Buy both of those books. 
takes me up to eight ancient science books. Uh, the the scary part is going to be getting Charlos home here. I think I'm going to bring you back so we can start research at this point. If I was smart, I guess you don't have a big enough open building for me. I'm going to say if I was smart, I would just build a small research outpost like on this island or something. Wall it off. Occasionally come out to buy some books. Uh, this is the scary. This is the scary part. Gotta run through Beak Thing territory, and if they catch you, they eat you, and you don't get to bring any books back, unfortunately. So Charlos has forty-five thousand cats worth of books in her inventory. It's time to see if she can make it home. On this week's episode of Staying Alive, or Long Haul Truckers, Long Haul Hivers. Wait, you're not a hiver. Long Haul... I don't know. Contract with Mercenary Guild has ended. Welp. Not a whole lot I can do about that since I just spent all my money. It's almost tempting to go to the Venge. Try to run through that. We've got tyrants. Don't you be doing that double back bullshit? Yeah, she's like, well, first I'm gonna run right through this tyrant nest. Got bone fiends with him. Psychopaths. Walls are being finished. Hey, look at this. A wandering eye too. Old machines. Okay. Wow, they're actually kind of quick, huh? 24 miles per hour. That is a lot faster than the V1s, I think it is. Or the V2s that we ran into. They could sense the power contained in our backpack. The massive amount of knowledge we run past that drifter. Have you seen any beak things? No, good. Oh yeah, the the uh, smuggler's bar. Another place that would be fun to go if I had money. Maybe I could go recruit some people there. Pretty sure I mentioned in this last video or somewhere around there. It's almost time to go on another recruiting drive. <gasps> no. I just barely saw those four beak things right there. I don't care if I have to take a longer path. In order to get back home. I don't want to spend the next five minutes trying to weave my way out of their damn attacks. Would be kind of fun to bring them back to the base though and then fight them everybody okay at some point my dinosaurs are gonna start starving I imagine we don't get combat let's see go ahead all those in there and you can get back to doing pretty much whatever you want to do We've got Flatfoot of the Tech Hunters running around. And Soul. Where did I send you? I was going to say, oh, you're still not back? Are you getting attacked? No, you're aimless. You wanted to be attacked. That's like a Dust Bandit. Yeah, Dust Bandit camp. Souls just hanging around out there. Oh goody, Grieve Race. Wow, a lot of them too. One, two, three, four, I think. If there's a Grieve Wraith Matriarch, that's when I'll be absolutely terrified. We've got Grieve Wraith, 
Breathe Wraith. We've only seen one Matriarch so far. Oh, wow. Five of them. Breathe Wraith. Yeah, you can try and catch him if you want. The mercenaries are heading out, I believe. Uh, I'm gonna let them leave. Possibly go... Take another batch of rum. Cat dog, you need to get inside. Bad night out here. Dino, can you please... Leave. At least scoot over. Um... So I just need to see some movement real quick. Make sure that there's no Grieve Wraiths over in our vicinity. So... Soul, you need to trade... ...with Peacock here and give him the proper leg. He's like, no jokes this time. We actually got... ...the proper leg for you. Go. Got cotton and fabric. Uh, just go do your job. Think. Good. All of this is built and finished. Beautiful. I think. Let's go ahead and start planting some farms that are going to take a while to finish. Oh, maybe I should just do, like, one at a time for now, right? We'll put spotlights between the camps. I'm going to do... do three at first. Really? Okay, there we go. So I should just... I, for, I constantly forget that I can manually adjust some of these things, so... Bring that up. There we go. that up a little bit. It looks better if the fence is, you know, actually above the ground. And I guess that's... So, I'll need three cotton to finish that, but pretty much everyone uh, can pitch in once people place the stuff. Soul, we can go place your cotton. Everything we harvest from this field now should actually start being taken over here. Expand this out. I think I need a cushion to set my tea down on. I can see it on the audio graph. Every time I set it down on the table, it still gets picked up. A loud spike. Uh, we don't have really anyone guarding our base now, do we? I see... Udo of the Tech Hunters, Endo of the Tech Hunters. That expires in one day, 17 minutes. We have another massive shopping event coming up. So... Slacks... You've always got tons of room in your inventory. Like that. And last time, unfortunately, we didn't see the great men actually run back to our weapon shop. They ran to this building, bought some stuff here, and then only one went elsewhere. So I should probably load this down with as much small but expensive stuff as possible for when they show up. Yep, we still have people patrolling out here. Niv of the Free Traders. Who's under attack? Dino? By a Triangle Bandit. That's fine. I mean, I constantly rotate my camera around looking for squads. Starving Bandits, Triangle Bandits. Anything but Tyrants or Grieve Wraiths. in order to feed my dinosaurs that are freaking out. So... 
Denver, get over here. Can't you just go eat that little dead dinosaur before it disappears? Hell, I haven't even seen... No, oh, apparently they won't eat, e eat each other. I haven't even seen any uh, wild bulls in forever. Or my skeleton friends. Which is unfortunate. Come on. There's gotta be meat out here somewhere. Maybe along the edge of the building. Got dying tyrants. Animal skins on the ground. Surprisingly enough, the Mender didn't stop to heal the damn dinosaur. How's the training going? Sad Neil. Only up to four lockpicking. He is a slow learner. There we go. Dr. Chung and Miyu are practicing their melee defense. You really don't need to practice anymore. You'll probably never gain any, and you don't need to practice anymore, so. No more melee defense. You can go practice martial arts, which, while not incredibly useful. There we go. Might actually help them at some point in the long run. I mean, it only comes into effect if you're fighting with no weapon, I believe. See Justin Ray still practicing turrets. A rund. These only take you up to 15 attack. So you're done with that. You can go down and practice on the sparring mat. Or you can go do something else. That's fine too. Every time they have to run back and forth, it just increases my uh, their athletics. Um, Zan, why don't you take all of that and let's go plant it? I'm not gonna just sit back and. Let this stuff finish on its own. I should micromanage it a little bit, unlike the last time I had garden or farms that I was making. Oh, no, no, no. You, you have more than that. Go finish the fucking job. Go. So, all of you people right here. Wait, we'll let Damas go. I'm gonna say, Damas. This is pretty much all of my farmers right here. You guys take care of those two as well. Make sure you're working on those. And Pekunk, you can get up now. Completely forgot. Uh, Re-enable all your jobs. He's like, look, I've got training to go do. Back and forth. What are you even training? Like, I don't want to get my ass kicked ever again. I'm going to learn how to defend myself. I've already lost two of my legs, so I'm less human than human. You're not going to make a very good ninja. With loud, clunky... Skeleton legs, that's for damn sure. So, it looks like lots of people are getting free time. That's a good thing. Pretty sure my food situation is good, except for my animals. If I have to manually move food out to the food barrel, I will. Let's see, got tyrants down there. <laughs> Everybody wants a bite. Go do something useful. Whole bunch of beak things. I I wonder. Could Dino and Denver take on a couple beak things and win? 
it would give them something to do. It would give them a kind of a food source. Does never seem to be enough of them, or, I mean, too few of them. That tyrant's fighting one. Yeah, they could definitely take one of them down. Maybe, I don't know. It looks like this beak thing came and destroyed the nest. Denver is going to wait in the wings before he decides what to do. Fuck, that might be a body right there. Unfortunately, all of the meat is just over the hill here. Beak thing is in the distance eating. Are you running away now? Yep. Denver's big mission to get dinner. Will you eat one of these by chance? No. Okay. I had to check it. I'm surprised that those two ran off like that, but I guess that they had enough of each other. Two big apex predators deciding to call it call it off in a mutual show of respect. What body are you eating? Oh. How did you even know that that guy was there? Denver. Denver's like, I know where all of the meat is. All of the time. This is gonna make a beautiful farm. I need to get my other wall figured out here, don't I? Like, I want to have one come across right here. Have the gate somewhere through here. Just for the heck of it. I'll wait until I can get rid of these prototype farms in order to make more space. I've got a decent amount of hemp now. Let that continue to get stockpiled. I could do... I could do two plots of it. So we'll have cotton here, three wide. We'll have hemp here, three wide. Probably gonna have to build more wells, huh? It looks like for the first time, my wells are letting me down. Well, well, well. Auto hauler well too, still the best one I've got. Seven building material, nine iron plates, twelve power. I think we can manage. I'm gonna slap down a few of them. Actually. Twelve power consumption is a lot, but we use water for everything. We're going to need it for all of these expanded farms. Uh, most of the food takes it. All of the rum does. Are you animals still out there waiting? Okay, Charlos. Your backpack is fairly empty. Come here. Let's go ahead and... Take out a whole bunch of jerky, I guess. Rations would be better, but I do want to save those just in case. They actually make great money. Uh, or, well, yeah, great money. Great little chunks of, of credit just waiting to be traded away in a very small package. Oh, so, there we go. All of you can get up here. And Bernardino come eat. I would ask that you eat and then move on, but whatever. No, do your do your own thing. You're your own dinosaurs. I'm not gonna judge him. Uh, I did get distracted, so plump. I want you down here. We had we had the books delivered, right? I've been setting on them. 
doing absolutely nothing. But... A bigger, better research desk would allow us to research bigger, better things. I could use all eight of my books to unlock tech level five. Mounted crossbows, two for one book. Let's go ahead and pick up advanced wind generator theory, which I've been needing. Automatic flower grinding is a whopping four books. Uh, speed up mining a great deal. I probably should get that. Wells, three... Just one book. Honestly, I need better crafting. So, this would give us chainmail sheet fabrication bench. Chainmail armor crafting. This would give us Catan number two. The whopping one book. Let's do it. Trophies I can't do anything with. Cloth I can't do anything with. Um, I mean, an automatic loom for hemp or cotton would be a good thing. But for now, it doesn't matter. Skeleton repair beds. I guess... This is tough. Advanced weapon grades 2, that gives us Catan number 3. What I wanted was plate armor crafting, but I didn't get the engineering research, so... Let's do... That's ancient science books, too. Let's do that. Which pains me a little bit. Go ahead and... Or drill, too. That'll give me... I'll have to... I can use less people for mining at that point, so... Because we'd be able to fill up our coffers even quicker. It's not as good as automated mining tech, but I don't exactly have an AI core yet. Uh, I mean, we, you know what? Chain armor crafting too. Throw that on there, and that's pretty much it. Okay, that'll work. That'll upgrade the stuff that Zan and Revy are able to make at the very least. Yeah. I'm down with it. I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Whenever we come back, more Kenshi. I'll see you then.